it's probably not the best way to start my day by starting a flame war in a comment section on a YouTube video, but a cup of coffee wasn't doing it. So let's get the day started right by talking about cosmetics in video games. And then in more in a general sense, not just in terms of Team Fortress 2, but just in a general sense. And if you hear my dog barking in the background, I do sincerely apologize. The dog does not stop barking no matter what we do because squirrels exist and we're trying to kill them with a fucking pellet gun and the fuckers keep moving. So, squirrels suck. Anyway, let's talk about video game cosmetics. But first, let's start with this cosmetic that I'm showing on screen here for Team Fortress 2. Now, the past few days, my inboxes have been flooded with this cosmetic because people have been really wanting me to comment on it. They wanted me to talk about it, probably rip it a new one. And in my opinion, the best way to handle a cosmetic like this is with one word. No, no. I mean, to be frank, I would say most players are fed up with cosmetics like this. We really don't need more tacky crap in the game. And this is another example of that. Naturally, the likes on Twitter are contradictory to my statement. It has garnered an insanely positive response on Twitter. And the only reason for that is because this is very obvious furry fetish bait. That's all this is. It's another furry cosmetic, and that's the only reason why it's popular. And naturally, when you put something like this on a reactionary platform like Twitter, it's going to get picked up, it's going to gain steam, and it's going to gain an insane level of popularity as it's being held up and bolstered by transient enjoyers of things on this website that don't actually care about the game and only see cute little wolfy head for Pyro and then like it and then go out of their way to upvote it on the workshop. And these people don't actually care about the game. Like, the positive reception of something on Twitter is not reflective of how most people think. And that's just how social media works in general, right? The, these 16,000 likes do not reflect a positive reception from the TF2 player base. It, re it, re it reflects a positive reception on Twitter, and that really doesn't mean much these days. So, and also, like, I'm, I'll just state the obvious. Yeah, this is just flat, furry, fetish bait. That, that's all this cosmetic is. And naturally, you have, like, the same Emporium levels of cope. Like, oh, it's a Halloween item. It's a Halloween item. Why are you upset about a Halloween item? Well... I just, I, you, you, I mean, you can't really hide behind the facade. You know what you were doing. You knew what you were doing. It's pretty fucking obvious. Come on. You can't, you can't fool anybody. And everyone on fucking Twitter is like, oh, very far. Like, Pyro Cynical fans picked up on it. Like, come on. You know, you know what you're doing. You know what the fuck you're doing. Anyway, not to focus on this item too much, but the discourse surrounding this item is, is very interesting because this item garnered a hugely positive response on Twitter but an overwhelmingly negative response in circles outside of Twitter because people are tired of tacky items like this getting put in the game. And the retort to the negative reception is just this usual blanket statement of, oh, well, cosmetics are meant for people to express themselves in the video game. They are meant to represent me. And to an extent, that statement is indeed true. Video game cosmetics exist to, you know, hit on certain tastes of the individual, right? For example, I dress up my engineer in Team Fortress 2 as a cowboy because I think that looks cool. And that is indeed reflective of a facet of my personality that thinks cowboys are cool, right? But does that mean every facet of a video game, every angle of a video game should aim to reflect my personality as a whole? Does every part of my personality fit into the context of the video game? And the answer to that is no, right? I also happen to like anime of various forms. Does that mean I should be allowed to dress up my medic as my favorite anime character? No. But we can take a look, we can think about another example, right? We can think about CSGO. CSGO has very deliberate visual design that should not be violated lest it screw with the game itself, right? Its cosmetics are primarily weapon skins. And there are a lot of different weapon skins for a variety of different tastes. You have cute little kitties, you have graffiti, you have case hardened, you got a bunch of different skins in CSGO, right? And it all appeals to a variety of tastes. But should this video game allow for someone to dress up their 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 C, their T or CT, because I can't say the, the T word on YouTube, should they allow them to dress up their, their T or CT as a furry character because it is representative of their personality? No, because that would be inappropriate in the context of CSGO. 
you are indeed allowed to express yourself with the cosmetics in a video game within the limitations and restrictions of that game, right? The game should not lose its identity in order to facilitate yours. That's the problem. Video games should not aim to reflect each individual person lest it lose what makes the game unique and special. And we have many games over the years that have fallen into that trap, Fortnite being a perfect example of this, where originally, Fortnite did have a semblance of its own unique original style and feel to the game, right? It looked like Fortnite, but now... It's just a massive billboard for everything. You have Goku, you have My Hero Academia, you have Transformers, you got Batman, Spider-Man, fucking Keanu Reeves is in there. Various rappers and other famous people. Like the, the, the developers of this game keep throwing in more crap to try to appeal to as many people as possible so they can buy their favorite characters and play as them in the video game. Because in the modern sense of reflecting personality, you have more people that identify with products rather than who they are as a person. It's like nowadays, like, hey, you ask someone, describe yourself, who are you as a person? Most people now will go, oh, I like Disney movies, or I like Oreo cookies, right? They, they, don't, they don't share who they are. Like for me, like me, I am a son, I am a Catholic, I am a scientist, you know, I, you know, I, I love the, you know, what have you, right? Like I, things that are, you know, inherent qualities to myself and not just because, oh, I happen to like Folgers coffee, right? Like I don't, I don't identify with the coffee. I identify with who I am as a person, and what my actions are, right? But because of where we are in the modern sense and how more people identify with products and thingies and trinkets, now more people think it's appropriate to degrade the aesthetic quality and uniqueness of a game in order for it to better represent themselves as an individual. And when you push for that, you corrode what makes games special. And TF2 has also fallen into that trap over the years. Thankfully, most cosmetics even still fit within the game contextually, but we have things that don't, right? We have like the Mario hat, we have the JoJo set, we have the Stormtrooper set for Medic, right? All of these things in the context of the game are simply inappropriate because they are media references that have no business being in the video game. And sure, you can tie them to the game aesthetically where they don't stick out like a sore thumb, but why would the, why the fuck would there be a Mario hat in the context of TF2? Why would there be a JoJo set in the context of TF2? These things are completely out of place and do not belong no matter how you slice it and dice it. You can gut me in the comments for all you want for that one because sure, they might look okay, but again, contextually, they're inappropriate. And I don't think they fit, I, I don't think they belong. Whereas other media references or other references to other forms of media, for example, you have the, the Minnesota Slick, which is a reference to the movie Fargo. You have The Fortunate Son, which is a reference to the movie um, Full Metal Jacket, right? These movies, their, their theming and their, and their stories are much more appropriate for something like TF2. They're dark, they're edgy, they're gritty, one's based on war, one's based on crime, and both of those things in the context of TF2 are perfectly acceptable, right? Those things are totally fine and they work. Very acceptable. These are very dark, dingy, gritty stories that are loosely based in reality. Still fantasy, still not real, but they're loosely based in reality, but heavily exaggerated, and that is what TF2 is. It is an impressionistic take on 70s realism that is turned into a slightly exaggerated video game. And Referencing media like that, again, you know, Full Metal Jacket is based in war, you know, and Fargo is, you know, about a crazy motherfucker that puts a guy through, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but it, it's about a, partially about a crazy motherfucker that would fit in the context of the game. Not a Mario hat. Why would Mario be in this game? Super Mario does not belong in TF2, just like Goku wouldn't belong in TF2, just like Optimus Prime wouldn't belong in TF2. They are contextually out of place and simply do not belong just like this shitty wolf head for or furry head, but whatever the fuck this is meant to be, for the pyro. And it, it doesn't belong, and people are really tired of it. We already have enough furry representation in the game. We really don't need to shit all over the game even more to, to get more fetish items in the game. We, we don't need more of these, man. And um, I saw an argument because I, I, I tweeted this out, and I saw someone reply like, well, the, the video game's art style is already gone. We should just embrace what we already have. And I'm not sure how I was supposed to take that. Like, do I embrace what is left of TF2's art style? Or do I embrace what cosmetics we have? And if it's the latter, I don't think I want to embrace this. 
I, I don't think I want to embrace the reindeer head. I don't think I want to embrace, like, the, the balloonicorn headphones and other shit that just does not mesh with the game at all. I don't, that crap is not acceptable. And that's why I've been pushing for better items over the past few years is just... Is I'm, tired, I'm tired of crap like this, where people think it's okay to project themselves into the video game, to project what they personally like into the game without thinking about, does this fit contextually into the world of the game that I'm making the item for? And this is yet another instance of primarily Emporium people, because there's a lot of other TF2 creators that actually think about the game they're making items for. This is another example of members from the TF2 Emporium just not caring about the game they make items for, and that's all I wanted to talk about today. So I'm going to get back to work on my video, and I'll see y'all later.